so just a bit of a background for anyone who's new to this project. In the 4.0 release, the ability to indent text and activities and resources was removed for various reasons. And it ended up having a really big impact on uh, course creators and their ability to create a visual hierarchy for the content of their courses. So we knew this was a problem. Our community members were being very vocal about how this um, had impacted them. And many of them were just calling for us to bring indentation back, saying that they didn't or didn't want to or couldn't upgrade to newer versions of Moodle without indentation. So um, we didn't want to limit this discussion to whether or not we were going to bring indentation back. So our approach was to try to understand the underlying needs of course creators when they're structuring their courses and um, try to find the best solution to meet those needs. Uh, next slide, Marie. Um, so like I said, this is going to be pretty high level, but we wanted to just touch on two things that we thought um, helped contribute to the success of this project. One was the process that we followed for discovery all the way through to design and, and going into development. Um, and the next was just um, the collaboration that we had both internally and with our community. So um, first, the process. Uh, the process that we followed maps back to the development loop that's outlined in our product heartbeat, which is the photo or the image on the right. So I just wanted to drop that image in here because I think it just helps to illustrate um the process that we followed so in the understand phase that's where we um conducted discovery research uh we had in-depth interviews with members of our community to learn about their course creation process and um, some of their core needs in the explore phase we conducted a co-design workshop just to generate um, ideas and design concepts with our community and then Sabina has taken the research and the outcomes of that workshop. She's created some initial design solutions, design concepts, and has been having weekly rounds of feedback with the community to help refine those designs. Um, for the ACT phase, uh, after the research was conducted, the product team was able to align on both a short-term and long-term strategic plan. Um, and then by the end of this project, because design reviews are, are still happening, um, there will be finalized um, and agreed upon designs for the first phase and then the long-term solution will follow a similar design process uh, next slide thanks um and so collaboration i won't go through all of these um cells i won't read the entire table but you can see there was involvement from research design the entire rest of the product team um, and our community. And if you look at the colors, hopefully you can sort of kind of tell um, that as a researcher, my involvement was heavier kind of earlier on during the discovery phases. And then Sabina and um, the rest of the product team became increasingly more involved as we moved from discovery into design and development. Um, and of course, we had a really passionate core group of community members that were providing feedback at each phase and were being updated along the way. So this project has been um, a really collaborative experience the whole way through, which I think allowed everyone to um, take part in the research and learn from the research as we were learning. Um, and it also meant that we were having conversations, like really important conversations early and frequently about user needs, um, potential solutions, and what was actually possible to implement. So there were fewer misunderstandings and and probably more alignment um, overall. So design workshop um, aimed a uh, very um, um, structured way. So uh, we started by, um, well, first of all, I have to say that we conducted the session during two hours with five participants uh, that most of them were having a initial interviews in the discovery phase with us. We had a couple of them that didn't didn't have uh, any contact with them before, um, but um, it was a very uh, varied uh, group of of different users coming from different organizations, and um, uh, we started with an introduction of the uh, how Myra work and uh, doing just a little exercise to um, get them started with Myra uh, using the notes um 
we of course um, introduce ourselves and explain a little bit why we were here, giving some context about the the project uh, for those people who didn't have uh, those initial uh, interviews with us, and we explain basically the agenda of the of the workshop. Um, this was a very kind of uh, practical workshop, um, so we wanted the participants to. Um, like get uh, their hands on uh, and uh, draw different ideas and concepts. And um, before we um, we started with the with the exercise, we uh, uh, did a, a, a run of introduction just to get familiarized with all the other participants that were on the call, and also with the people from from HQ. Uh, we explained in some rules. <clears throat> we wanted to make this uh, workshop in a fun and dynamic way. And we started with the quick warm up exercise um, just to break the ice and, and get people um, not afraid of drawing. Uh, we were asking them to draw an alien spaceship and we wanted to call out the differences that uh, were uh, coming up uh, depending on who drew the, the, the idea or the concept, just to make them understand that this exercise will, will bring a lot of different uh, and diverse ideas and concepts to the table. So after that, we uh, started the uh, ideation round. We uh, break the ideation in two phases. So first, uh, the participants had five minutes for creating and drawing their ideal um, course uh, hierarchy. Um, and after those five minutes, we asked them to uh, have another uh, second round um in a very similar way but uh drawing something completely different from their original design um just trying to make them uh, think out of the box in a creative way and to try to look at the problem uh, from completely different perspectives and after that um we uh run um through all the participants ideas um in a quick presentation from um, all of them um, of the two concepts. Um, we were kind of um, having conversations, letting them, uh, the other participants ask questions. And what we wanted basically is to start creating a conversation between them, between many different users coming up from uh, different organizations. Um, and basically, the the conversation uh, got uh, started uh, very fluently uh, in the presentation rounds. So we have here all the participants' uh, drawings with some notes that uh, we were taking out uh, from the presentation and the comments. And at the end of this presentation, we let them um, a few minutes to have a discussion and to basically um, talk about all the ideas that they were saying, that they were, the, sorry, they, they saw uh, during the presentations, um, and just basically talking about how the different ideas from other participants um, have changed the way in, the, in, in which they were seeing the, the solution for this project. And it was a very, very um, um, interesting discussion. Um, and at the end, we wanted to run out a retro exercise just to get uh, the participants' feedback and to see uh, whether they liked this, this exercise, these activities, what they thought, what they thought they could be, uh, we could be improving, and um, what were the, the wonders uh, about this session. Um, and. Uh, to wrap up the session, we explain them the next steps, um, asking them to sign up into the weekly sessions that we we conduct, and also asking them to join the Moodle experience staff. If uh, so far, we receive a response and feedback from all the participants, and uh, they they really enjoyed. Um, 
this involvement of the community in our work process and they were asking for having these kind of exercise more often and with uh, also um, like in a big picture level um so yeah that was kind of the the um the exercise that we conduct i'm gonna be i'm gonna stop sharing and go back to the slides right yeah, so after uh, these uh, workshops, Sitara and I worked uh, on the analysis of the of the takeaways, um, the outcomes of these uh, of the workshop and the exercise, and uh, also along with the results of the initial interviews that we conducted, we took some main concept, main um, uh, ideas that were the most important for for those participants um, um for this project so um the the um users want the ability to visually group elements related um in within a course uh with uh, expandable and collapsible section and subsections um we observed uh, Levels of grouping or, or hierarchy will uh, are enough for. Um, to solve the big picture of an entire course in a very quickly understandable way. So users don't want things hidden away. They want to see everything at a glance, and so in about course hierarchy, uh, we also. Uh, uh, related to this so this scroll of death was uh, something that came up into the conversation a lot to reduce this verticality improve this scannability yep yeah okay okay thank you so um after uh an the analysis of the outcomes of the discovery phase we had a technical discussion with the team to scope the project and we decided to break the, this project into the storm or temporary solution and the long term and um just um because of the 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 magnitude of this uh, um, project, it was uh, very big. Um, we decided to bring invitation back in an improved way, uh, with uh, three levels of of hierarchy rather than infinite levels that we used to have before, and also improving the text and media activities to be reflected in the course index um, and some other changes. Um, so that will be the temporary solution that we'll have in place for the next release while we work on the long term. Um, and uh, all these uh, workshop and discovery outcomes that we collect uh, through the initial phases will be reflected on the long term solution. Um, so if you want to move to the next slide, Marie. So yeah, um, for the short term, I've got a demo that I'm not gonna be doing just because I'm gonna be running out of uh, time, but the link for the prototype is there. Uh, you can see that other projects and other issues uh, are involved uh, in this uh, hierarchy um, project that we have for the course um, page. Um, and uh, if you move to the next slide, Marie, I've got also there the some wireframes from the long term solution um, that uh, we are conducting the design reviews uh, in a weekly basis. So these uh, wireframes are a very low fidelity level in a very early, early stage of the design process. We are still getting feedback and iterating in a quickly way uh, based on the participant feedback and um, and uh, you've got them the link to the prototypes as well with all the different alternatives that i'm working on and these uh, uh concepts and ideas will be evolving through the time uh with all the the feedback that we are collecting so the the good thing about this is that we are working closely with the community the community is uh, well the participants of this project are very aware of all the the changes and ideas that we are proposing 
and this is something uh, positive for for getting uh, positive feedback at, at the end of in the release of, of a project. 